In this video, I want to show you how to run Chrome OS from a USB key on a laptop without installation. I would appreciate it if you take a moment and subscribe to my channel. This will help me keep bringing you quality videos. Open a web browser and go to a site called arnoldthebat.co.uk. Click on Chromium OS Special Builds and then click on the link in the middle of the page to go to the download page. Here you need to sort the builds two times, so click on last modified once, and then click once again to get the latest one. So here you have the latest one displayed on the top of the list. This one is from March 8, 2020. Click on it to start the download. I'm choosing the special bit because it includes drivers so that to make it compatible with the most number of laptops. Because the image we are downloading is zipped with a utility called 7-zip, we need to go to 7-zip.org to download and install this utility. If you already have it on your PC, this is a Windows 10 PC, Skip this step. So I clicked on download here next to the 64-bit version. When it downloads, I will install it. So I click on open file and then follow the prompts to continue the installation. When the installation finishes, click on close. Now we need to download a utility called Rufus from rufus.ie. This utility will copy the image that we downloaded, the Chrome OS image that we downloaded, to the USB key. So scroll down to Rufus 3.10 portable. This is the latest one. It might be different when you watch this video. And this is an executable file. It doesn't need to be installed. Now that everything is downloaded, go to the download folder. We are going to extract the file that we downloaded from Arnold the Bat site. So right click on it, select 7-zip and click extract here. It will extract the image. You need a USB key that is 16 gigabyte or more because the image as you see it's around 9 gigabyte. So here I already inserted a USB key that is 32 gigabyte. After the image is extracted, we need to run Rufus so that to copy it to the USB drive. I double clicked on Rufus here. Make sure you select the USB key that you inserted in your laptop. Careful because USB will be completely wiped. So back up your files if you need them or use a USB key that doesn't have files that you need. Click on select and select the Chromium image that we extracted and leave everything by default. Now click on start. This is a warning telling you that all the data on the USB key will be destroyed. So click on OK. And the writing of the image starts. Here I accelerated the video. It takes around 10 to 15 minutes depending on the USB key speed, if it's 3.0 or no. So when everything finishes, it gives you a message that it is ready. Click on close and let's switch to an external camera. I inserted the USB key in the laptop and I restarted it. I pressed F12 so that to select the boot menu, it might be different for your laptop. I selected USB storage and here is Chrome OS booting. The boot process is pretty fast as you will see. This is the Chromium logo. And now it will prompt you to press on let's go. So press on let's go on the welcome screen. And it looked for the Wi-Fi networks. Choose your Wi-Fi network. You need connection to the internet, of course, to use Chrome OS because everything is stored on the internet. Here I connect it to my Wi-Fi and it's putting up. Next step 
is that it will ask you for your Gmail account. Put your Gmail account here. Click on next and then put your Gmail account's password and click on next. And now you should have the Chrome OS booting up and ready to be used. Chrome OS is entirely re residing on the USB key and my laptop still has Windows 10. So now you can take your USB key with you and boot it on any laptop you want and you'll have Chrome OS. This is here, I'm showing you how the Chromium web browser is very fast. This is my website. If you like this video, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. I want to thank you all for watching and leave me your comments for what videos you want to watch.